And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday Afternoon QSO VLOG Network. This is a directed network, and I am net control. If at any time during this net, should any emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO VLOG network is all about. Trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help, or at least try. I knew that most modern-day ham transceivers did have enough onboard processing equipment to be able to overcome most all of the problems. And so I started the QSO VLOG network with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today we're currently featuring over 2,900 QSO VLOG air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word logbook. And we also have a newer series called KC9VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. That's KC9VKV followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. Both KC9VKV logbook and KC9VKV highlights are segments of our main YouTube homepage of Jim's Radio Story, where we celebrate a 50-year career in commercial broadcasting. A 50-year journey from a 5-watt pirate radio station as a 12-year-old to production director of a major 50,000 watt AM broadcast facility. And the thing that makes this truly a unique story is that I have all the actual masters from all along the way. Over 2,600 shows, including many full-length major music concerts and radio documentaries. You'll have to check it out and subscribe. Jim's Radio Story on a YouTube search. Our mission statement for the QSV Log Network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of uh, intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receive side, we're running a five internet SDR receivers monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Virginia specifically. And in addition, we're running our new number five Hocus Pocus internet SDR receiver loaded with 50 additional pre-programmed internet SDR locations spread out over 20 states across the United States 
uh, on the eastern half of the United States trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these five SDR receivers comes up on a six position rotary selector. Also on this selector is our local receiver audio and today our local receiver is running three large 10 foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed at zero degrees, one aimed at 90 degrees, and the number three is aimed at 134 degrees. These are run as a directional scan or array with a manual voting system six position rotary selector. Also today on the transmit side we'll be running our no SWR specially oriented resonant tuned dipole antenna. One leg of this resonant tuned dipole antenna runs broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg runs broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO VLOG video. And as we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network, let us pause just a moment for the amateur radio operator's prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today. Let all our transmissions fill the air and reach their destination QSA5 to be understood by all. And as we pray for good radio conditions, let us also pray for good human conditions. During this time of pandemic that has challenged us all, we pray that you will protect everyone, especially our elderly. And also, Lord, we seek your divine intervention to bring peace to a very divided United States. As we go through a very conflicting time in America's history, with dark clouds all around, we pray that you'll reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And uh, normally uh, right in here would be the time where we would say this is the uh, QSO VLOG network, KC9VKV QSO VLOG network, and we would bring in Charlie, K1GZO, but unfortunately uh, uh, Charlie will not be able to uh, uh, join us uh, today, but we're looking forward to uh, maybe uh, next week when he'll be able to. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and open the net up. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Give me a shout. Kilo Oscar 4 Echo Bravo India. Echo Bravo India, Roger Roger, and what's the name there? Echo Bravo India, Roger Roger, and what's the name there? Uh, good afternoon. The name on this end is Mark. Mike Alpha Romeo Kilo. Roger Mark, and what kind of radio are you running today? Roger Mark, and what kind of radio are you running today? Well, I'm, I'm uh, currently running uh, the FTDX 101 MP, uh, and uh, just I changed microphones the other week, and I was just wanting to see, uh, see what your thoughts were on the, uh, on the audio this afternoon there, Jim. All right, uh, the first thing would be uh, to make sure that uh, that microphone is uh, uh, set up uh, on the ALC, and so that means go to your ALC meter, and uh, as you, uh, uh, you know, adjust the mic level uh, for two-thirds on that meter, or seven, whichever comes first, as you say the magic word, audio, just say it like you would say any other word in a, in a QSO, Roger? Like you would say any other word in a, in a QSO, Roger? Okay, Roger that. Audio. Audio. Okay, I'm up about uh, roughly about halfway on the peak there. Roger, Roger. Now, if you just could just be a little bit to the right-hand side of, of halfway, you know, we're looking for two-thirds. And th that word audio is such a good word to uh, uh, set that level on because it's so specific and it just it just is right there. We used to say you'd have to do it uh, between a halfway and two-thirds, but that word uh, just gives you the chance to set it right on two-thirds, Roger. It just gives you the chance to set it right on two-thirds, Roger. Okay, Roger that. Audio. 
Audio. Okay, that's that's pretty close right there, Jim. Yes, sir. Now, uh, why don't you uh, tell me a little bit about your antenna system and uh, let me uh, look around to make sure I can get the best copy on you, Roger. Let me uh, look around to make sure I can get the best copy on you, Roger. Roger. Up about 50 feet and uh, fed with a uh, 4 to 1 dialing. And uh, this is my primary antenna. I do run a, uh, a vertical and I do run a, uh, a vertical as well, but uh, I generally prefer the, uh, the 160. Roger, Roger. Now I caught you uh, both on uh, my Pennsylvania SDR, my local antenna. You sound uh, really good. Uh, maybe crank in just a tad more top end if, you, uh, if that's uh, possible, if you know where your equalization page is. Oh, copy that. Uh, and I'm uh, looking at it right now. I'm uh, looking at it right now. Okay, and what kind of equalization is that? I'm currently sitting Okay, at, uh, and what kind of equalization is that? And the uh, EQ level 3 is at a 10, and the bandwidth is at a 1. Over. Okay, is that a 3 band EQ? Is that a Roger? Okay, is that a three band EQ? Is that a Roger? Roger, Roger. Okay, so we want to make sure uh, a couple of things. Uh, we want to make sure that the equalizer is turned on. Roger, Roger. We want to make sure that the equalizer is turned on. Roger, Roger. Uh, copy that. And uh, yes, sir, it is turned on. All right, and then uh, we usually recommend that you be running uh, a, a three. Uh, on your uh, uh, compressor uh, uh, processor, a three on your compressor processor, Roger. Processor, a three on your compressor processor, Roger. Okay, copy that. Give me just a second. I need to turn the processor on and check where it's at. Yes, sir. And we're just looking for a third of that. So that's when we see a, a three out of... Uh, uh, 10 or 30 out of 100, uh, however it's uh, labeled. We're just looking for a third of that uh, capability from the uh, processor compressor. Capability from the uh, processor compressor. Okay, KO4EBI for ID. Yes, sir. I'm currently set at a 3. Okay, sir. And that's a 3 out of 10, Roger. Okay, sir. And that's a 3 out of 10, Roger. All righty, and uh, so uh, what I want you to do now is uh, go back to your uh, EQ page uh, and make sure that your mid-range EQ is flat, plus or minus a zero, uh, flat on your uh, EQ, uh, mid-range EQ, Roger. On your uh, EQ, uh, mid-range EQ, Roger. Okay, Roger that, Jim. Uh, the the EQ setting for that, um, I can uh, I can adjust it from either off up to like uh, fifteen hundred hertz. Um, do you want me to just turn it off, or uh, what are you exactly looking for right there? Yeah, that's fine. Just turn it off. We don't want to. Uh to mess with the mid-range because uh, any microphone can reproduce the mid-range fairly well. Uh, so uh, we just want to uh, put that uh, EQ uh, possibility in the off range and then go to the uh, treble EQ, Roger. Off range and then go to the uh, treble EQ, Roger. Copy that. Okay, Jim, it is now turned off. The mid-range is. And uh, where do you need me to go to next? To your treble EQ, I think that's number three, treble EQ. And uh, do you have a parametric that you can change the frequency of that uh, EQ? You can change the frequency of that uh, EQ? Uh, yes, I do. I, I, was, uh, I was thinking that's what you were looking for there. Uh, on the mid-range, I actually turned the frequency level off. Is, uh, or, or do you need me to turn it back on? Okay, on the mid-range, uh, just uh, turn that one off. Not uh, not the frequency of it, but just uh, the uh, the level of it off. And I think you do that just by going down to the far left uh, on the attenuate. Is that a Roger? Down to the far left uh, on the attenuate. Is that a Roger? Okay. 
Or you can put it, uh, I want to just plus or minus zero. I don't want to uh, uh, have gain with it or, or, or you know, have uh, uh, deficiencies on it. I just want it to, to be straight uh, off. Roger. I just want it to, to be straight uh, off. Roger. Oh, Roger that. The, okay, I've got the uh, EQ level, uh, AMH DQ level 2 now is at zero. Good, good. Okay, so then we go to three, which is the treble EQ, and I understand you can adjust the frequency. So the ideal push frequency is uh, 2.7 kilohertz. The ideal push frequency on that treble control is uh, 2.7 kilohertz, Roger. Control is uh, 2.7 kilohertz, Roger. Yes, sir. Transmit uh, EQ. Transmit uh, EQ. Roger, Roger. EQ. Transmit uh, EQ. Roger, Roger. Roger that. I, I'm currently set at 22,800. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming that 200 is the bottom frequency, number one. Uh, is that a correct? It's the bottom frequency, number one. Uh, is that a correct? Uh, Roger that. That is correct. Okay, so then we go to number three, and we want to adjust that to where it reads uh, uh, the frequency is uh, 2.7 kilohertz. 2.7 kilohertz. In kilohertz. 2.7 kilohertz. All right, uh, let me see if I still have you on my local uh, antenna. Come back and uh, just uh, give me some uh, verbiage there for a couple of seconds. Verbiage there for a couple of seconds. Doctor 4, Echo, Bravo, India, for ID, uh, testing audio, one, two, one, two. Roger, Roger. Okay, so we're on number three. Do you have the capability of adjusting the width of that uh, number three equalizer? Adjusting the width of that uh, number three equalizer? Uh, yes, sir, I do. And uh, right now it's currently set to a, uh, a one. Okay, so we want to uh, set that to a four. The width of four on equalizer number three. So it is 2.7 kilohertz width of four. And now what we want to do is uh, plus four from where you are as far as uh, level concern. Plus four boost on 2.7 with a width of four. On 2.7 with a width of four. Okay, copy that, Jim. I'm now at a, uh, at a plus four from a one there, over. Yes, sir. Now tell me about the best thing you like about your radio. Yes, sir. Now tell me about the best thing you like about your radio. Oh, uh, copy that. Well, uh, I tell you, uh, it's, uh, I think the uh, production function on this radio is, uh, it's really superb right here. Um, uh, out a lot of uh, a lot of noise there. Uh, just really have enjoyed the radio so far. Yes, sir. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, I'm uh, recording now, obviously, and uh, if you want to hear it, uh, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. Uh, it'll bring you to this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. To this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. 
Roger that. Well, thank you a lot there, Jim. Really appreciate it. Especially thank you for everything that you do out here for uh, Amateur Radio, my friend. KO4EBI. Roger, Roger. And uh, if you wanted to, you could leave your uh, uh, ALC out and be cognizant of your ALC as you talk. Uh, and uh, the idea is to keep that ALC in the sweet spot so you've got nothing else to do as you uh, talk to your fellow him buddy and uh, so if you just look at that LC uh, and uh, concentrate on keeping that uh, voice level right in the sweet spot sweet spot <laughs> which is uh, a two-thirds Roger spot. <laughs> which is uh, a two-thirds Roger Definitely try to uh, try to keep it right in the general area right there, over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Seventy-three that way. Or where is that way? Where are you located, sir? Uh, Seventy-three that way. Or where is that way? Where are you located, sir? Okay, I'm, uh, I'm actually located in uh, Fayetteville, uh, Fayetteville, Tennessee, just a small town. Fayetteville, Tennessee. Roger, Roger. Well, 73 that way, sir, Mark. And uh, you have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. And if you get a chance, join us next Friday. We'd love to have you. Uh, this is the Friday afternoon, QSO VLOCnet. If you have a radio or you want to check out, give me a shout. VLOCnet, if you have a radio or you want to check out, give me a shout. This is KC9, VKB, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Net, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. I'm copying somebody on my Kentucky SDR. A station calling, come back and try it one more time, please, and slowly, phonetically. Calling, come back and try it one more time, please, and slowly, phonetically. Number nine, Juliet, Juliet Delta. Juliet, Juliet Delta, what's the first part of that? Juliet, Juliet Delta, what's the first part of that? The call is November 9, Juliet, Juliet, Delta. No, November 9, Juliet, Juliet, Delta. Roger, Roger. What's the name there? No, November 9, Juliet, Juliet, Delta. Roger, Roger. What's the name there? Uh, name is Don. I must not be getting out to you too well. Uh, Fort Mill, South Carolina, but I have a good trade on you. Over. Got South Carolina. A little slower on the name, a little bit more deliberate. Roger. Uh, on the name, a little bit more deliberate, Roger. Okay, Don, Delta, Oscar, November. Don, hold it. I got you, Don, and what radio are you running, sir? I got you, Don, and what radio are you running, sir? Well, I just uh, came out by the radio and I heard the invitation uh, <clears throat> to check in, so I'm not sure what I'm checking in with, but I must not be giving you a very good signal, over. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm copying you on my Kentucky SDR, and you're about uh, 8 dB over their noise level. I haven't had a chance to check my local antenna yet, but uh, this is uh, a net that uh, we uh, help people achieve the best sounding station possible uh, uh, with on their transmitter. And uh, we run uh, live uh, from 3.30 to 5, record all the way, and uh, make uh, certain adjustments. Uh, as far as uh, levels and uh, uh, e equalization uh, curves, Roger, Roger. And uh, uh, e equalization uh, curves, Roger, Roger. Uh, more power, but uh, uh, anyway, I usually do a little better than that. But like I said, you have a good signal. I, I guess you said an, an F8 on, on me. I'm not sure. Over. 
Yes, on the Kentucky SDR, you have an 8. I got to uh, bring up my local antenna, and you look to be about 15 over on my local antenna. Uh, EQ, uh, uh, I'm not sure. I've just got a lot of bottom end. I just uh, have to listen to you just for a minute to see if you have enough top end to uh, balance the bottom end. Roger? Uh, Roger, I, I, it sounds like on the, uh, the other antenna you mentioned, it's doing okay. I'm not sure I uh, understand all of that, but anyway, uh, see how this goes. In 9 jjd Roger, Roger. Could use a little more on the top end, uh, a couple of clicks, uh, additional treble EQ from where you are. Uh, your, uh, your audio, as far as the, uh, uh, the dynamic range, seems to be about 3 dB, which is uh, where you would uh, want to be. That means your average percent of peak modulation is about uh, 80 to 85 percent, somewhere in there. But uh, like I say, your, your upper end uh, could use just a tad more, about 3 dB clicks of uh, treble EQ from where you are to give it a little more articulation. Because if you have a heavy bottom end, you need a heavy top end to uh, balance that. Roger? Okay, Roger. I, but I did crank on a little bit more power, but that, that may not be everything that needs to be done. Uh, I don't know. How's this transmission over? Roger. Now, uh, what kind of microphone are you running there, sir? Oh, it's the same mic with the radio. It's an ICOM 7300, and it's just a hand mic with the, it came with the 7300. Over. Yes, sir. Well, the best way to work that microphone is pull it to the corner of your lips, actually touch the corner of your lips, and talk across it. Don't talk into it, but talk across it. That will minimize any uh, mouth noises, uh, plus these uh, transients and stuff. Roger. Okay, Roger, I'm doing that now. I don't know if it makes a big difference, but I'm talking across it, over. Yes, sir. Now, uh, let's see here. What did you say, what radio did you say you had there? Uh, I'm sorry, say it again, sir. I'm sorry, what radio did you say you had? ICOM 7300. Yes, sir. Well, it sounds like you might be pushed just a little bit. So we normally suggest uh, for the 7300 or for most radios, a compression of three, a compression of three. You get past the three up to four, five, six, and it starts sucking up between uh, words. So I would say a three on that, on and a three. Compression on and in three. Roger. Okay, Roger. I, I cut the <clears throat> I cut the compression down uh, just as you were talking. Does that make a difference? Yes, sir. Three is the ideal number there on that 7300. Compression level of three, Roger. Uh, uh, Roger, I've turned it down. Does that make any difference? Over. Roger, Roger. Are you hitting a three there? Uh, uh, QSL. All right. Now to your AOC with mic gain in hand. And as you say the word audio, it's a beautiful word to set a level with. You become a human test generator, and you say audio, and adjust your mic level until your AOC meter is running at two-thirds. Roger? Uh, Roger. I'll try that. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well. Let me, uh, let me try that again. Uh. Yeah, don't push it. Just say it like you would say any other word in, in a QSO, Roger. Uh, Roger, are you, uh, but when I'm looking at the level, should I look at the ALC or the, or the uh, uh, S9 level? Uh, the uh, ALC meter. You're looking for ALC reading of uh, two-thirds, just uh, slightly to the right of center, Roger. Uh, Roger, well, I'm over two-thirds, so I, I need to back that down a little bit on the mic game. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, okay, I, I backed the mic game down some. Does that make a difference? Yes, sir. It's uh, about 3 dB dynamic range now. Before, I think you were about a 1 or a two, it was uh, kind of scrunched there. And once you hit that, uh, you can't get any louder. And it's just, uh, you know, it has no life to it. It has no, uh, no flow to it. It's just all scrunched there together. So with a 3 dB dynamic range, your audio uh, has, uh, 
as movement and uh, it will really help you as far as enunciation uh, because the clarity is there. Roger? Okay, I understand, but does that, I've made some of those adjustments. Are you saying, does it sound better now? Over. Oh, Roger, Roger. Now the thing that uh, you could do would be to uh, um, make sure that you're in that 100 to 2900 uh, transmit bandpass mode. Uh, 100 to 2900 TBW, Roger. Uh, Roger, I, I'm not sure right now. I have to have to look up to just that. Roger, that's in uh, settings, transmit sideband, uh, right before you get to uh, EQ, I think, or somewhere in there. Should have three selections. Uh, one of them being 100 to 2900. I'm sorry, we doubled. I said there should be uh, three selections there. One of them should be 100 to 2900, Roger. Uh, Roger, let me take a look, though. Uh, guide me again on how to get to that setting, over. Okay, it's so settings, uh, transmit, sideband, and uh, there should be, uh, you should be getting close there, Roger. Okay, just a second. Well, I'm I'm obviously not doing something right here. Uh, it's menu. I'm going to menu exit to bring up settings and then settings. Is that right? Yeah. Let me uh, find that. That's. Um uh, I've got notes on that. Uh, uh, hang on just a second. Let me get down to those. Um, uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, uh, for 7300. It, yeah, it's that multi button. The round button at the upper right side of the display window, Roger? Uh, I don't know. Say, say that again. Uh, for the 7300, it's the multi-button. The round button at the upper right side of the display window. Okay, yes, I've got that. That takes you to RF power, which should be 100%. It makes you to set gain uh, and uh, compression, monitor, uh, the multi-button, uh, uh, um, let's see, gosh, at the uh, lower side of the display takes you to set, which takes you to tone control, which takes you to uh, uh, TX transmit, which takes you to single sideband uh, and uh, transmitter EQ. And it also, uh, single sideband also takes you to TBW. And TBW is what we're looking for right at the moment. And it should be set to wide 100 to 2900, Roger. Uh, Roger, I think I've got that, but you know what? I'm going to have to sign off for a while and just, just play around and see if I'll see all those settings. All right. Or you can do that at your at your leisure. It's not a critical adjustment, and usually uh, I've found that most radios, have, if they're capable of, of uh, 100 to 2900, they're already there, but I have uh, run across some radios that have come from the manufacturer in less than the 100 to 2900 uh, transmit uh, band uh, pass. So uh, I always uh, want to double check that. That uh, ensures that your transmitter will be operating in its uh, maximum capability. Because what happens is if you're in a less than 2900 top end uh, uh, situation, you're starting to roll uh, the top end. And the top end obviously is where um, all of the articulation for your voice is. And so if you get down to 27 or 2600, uh, you're rolling quite a bit of your top end uh, articulation off. Roger? Uh, Roger, I'll, yeah, I'll give that a look. I appreciate it very much. I'm going to just have to get out of here and, and take a look at those settings. Yes, sir. Roger, Roger. 
uh, 73 there, uh, uh, Don. And, uh, you know, if you get a chance and find some of those uh, uh, settings, uh, we can uh, help you with those. Uh, uh, also, we have been recording, so if you want to hear what your audio sounds like, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. Uh, it'll be cut number one in a series of 2,900, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger, Roger. Uh, Roger, just say that call side one more time. Kilo, Charlie, nine, Victor, Kilo, Victor, followed by the word logbook. TSL, got it. I appreciate it. Uh, seven, three. Yes, sir, Don. 73, sir. Have a great afternoon. Beautiful weekend. If you get a chance, uh, join us next Friday, and we'll uh, tug at it again and see if we can find more things. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. I heard somebody back in there uh, calling uh, KC9VKV. Sir, uh, if you would uh, try your call sign again slowly and phonetically. Call sign again slowly and phonetically. Oh, with the eight. Foxtrot Sierra Delta. Foxtrot Sierra Delta, is that a roger? Foxtrot Sierra Delta, is that a roger? Roger, Roger, Foxtrot Sierra Delta, and what's the name? Roger, Roger, Foxtrot Sierra Delta, and what's the name? Uh, the name here is Brian, uh, Morgan County, West Virginia, QSL. Okay, copy, uh, West Virginia. Oh, and what was the name? Okay, copy, uh, West Virginia. Oh, and what was the name? Uh, name here is Brian, Brian. Roger, Roger, Brian, and what radio are you running today, sir? Roger, Roger, Brian, and what radio are you running today, sir? Uh, Yatu 991A. Oh, Roger that. Well, let's see. Brian, uh, if you would, why don't you give me about uh, 10 seconds? Or 15 seconds, uh, tell me about your antenna system, and uh, let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. And uh, let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. Uh, Roger, I'm currently running a new uh, VD4. I'm uh, ADL about uh, 35 feet. I have a uh, Maritron AL811H amplifier, which is picking up the 30 watts that my rig is set for, and I'm going through a Versa Tuner 989D. Okay, Brian, uh, gosh, uh, why don't you check to be sure you're uh, in that uh, 100 to 2900 transmit uh, band mode. That uh, will be uh, the best position for your transmitter to be in. Uh, you know, we don't want to cut any of the top end off, so we recommend 100 to 2900 uh, uh, be the best thing for that radio, Roger. 100 to 2900 uh, uh, be the best thing for that radio, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger, I'm in the uh, menu structure now. You wouldn't have to know what number that is, would you? Uh, let's see here. Let's see, um... Let me just take a look here real quick. Trying to get to that radio. Um, I'm not sure I, I have a uh, actual location for that. I, I think, why don't you make a note of that and be uh, and check that uh, at a later time. Uh, you know, it's not a very critical thing, but it is uh, from the standpoint of uh, rolling off some of that precious uh, top-end audio articulation, Roger. Some of that precious uh, top-end audio articulation, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. I'm uh, scrolling through here even as we speak. Uh, I have seen that in the past, and actually I listened in on you before and heard you mention it. So uh, I have made a note of that, and I will definitely be looking for that, over. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, as we, uh, you know, usually suggest uh, a compression level of three, uh, a c compression level of three, right? Uh, com compression, a processor level of three out of ten, or thirty out of a hundred, depending on how it's labeled. Three out of ten, or thirty out of a hundred, depending on how it's labeled. Frequency is in use. Uh, roger, roger. Uh, compression Frequency is in use. Frequency is in use, please go to another channel to tune up. Frequency is in use, please go to another channel to tune up. Okay, Brian, uh, what was our last situation? Uh? Okay, Brian, uh, what was our last situation? Uh? Yes, sir. It's uh, three out of ten, or thirty out of a hundred, depending on how it's labeled. Roger. Ten or thirty out of a hundred, depending on how it's labeled. Roger. Roger, Roger, sir. So noted. Uh, uh, I have a uh, SFT transmit DTF, which is currently uh, set to three hundred and twenty hundred. That looks like that might be it. You think? Um, I'm not sure. What's what's the uh, the numbers? What's the, uh, the numbers? Actually, I just got it. It was set for 300 to um, 27, I think. Anyway, I've got it at 100 to 2900 now, QSL. All right, all right. I consider that uh, a major accomplishment. <laughs> we're, we're in a good situation now for coming out uh, with a good resolve. And uh, so, yeah, and you got that compressor on, and uh, a 3 out of uh, 10 or 30 out of 100, Roger? And uh, a 3 out of uh, 10 or 30 out of 100, Roger? Uh, Roger, Roger, and uh, for your information, that's menu item number 110, 110 on the SD9918. Oh my gosh, uh, somebody keeps trying to tune up. Please, this is an active frequency. Go somewhere else. This is an active frequency. Go somewhere else. Okay, Brian, so uh, now I want you to uh, go to your ALC meter with uh, mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, don't uh, stress it. Just say it as you would say any other word, audio. And uh, set your mic level to where your ALC is running a seven or two-thirds. Roger, roger. Seven or two-thirds on your ALC meter. Roger, roger. Seven or two-thirds on your ALC meter. It helped you quit doubling with him. It helped if some son of a gun would stop keying on the channel. It helped if some son of a gun would stop keying on the channel. Please, this is an active frequency. Take it elsewhere. Do not tune on an active frequency. This is an active frequency, please. A controlled network, please. This is an active frequency, please. Ah, we've brought out all the gumbas. This is an active frequency, please do not tune up on an active frequency. This is an active frequency, please do not tune up on an active frequency. I'm sorry, Brian, I'm having a hard time copying you because of the, uh, the QRM from somebody uh, that uh, obviously has uh, no ears. This is an active frequency. Do not tune up on an active frequency. It's not kind. Take it elsewhere. Elsewhere. Okay, so we uh, got through that uh, uh, ALC meter. Uh, you got a good reading there, uh, two thirds, as you said the word audio. Is that a Roger? There, uh, two thirds. As you said the word audio. Is that a Roger? Okay, sounds good. Thanks.
Hello, hello. This is KC9 VKV. Uh, Brian, uh, do you have a copy? This is KC9 VKV. Uh, Brian, uh, do you have a copy? Yes, sir. Okay, sir, can you copy me okay now? Okay, sir, can you copy me okay now? Uh, roger, roger, I've got you 5-9, five 5-9. Nine, five nine. Roger, sometimes we get out of cadence. Okay, so your AOC meter is uh, uh, two-thirds, as you say the word audio. Is that a roger? It is uh, uh, two-thirds, as you say the word audio. Is that a roger? Uh, that is a roger, sir. With the ah, uh, we are at about 7.5 on the AOC meter. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, now we want to uh, move to your equalization page. And uh, make sure that your equalizer is turned on, Roger, Roger. And uh, make sure that your equalizer is turned on, Roger, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger, checking. Stand by, please. Okay, parametric equalizer is off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Stand by. Yes, sir. Parametric equalizer frequency uh, set for 100, level set for 5, QSL. Uh, first, just make sure that the EQ is turned on. Is that a roger? Uh, first, just make sure that the EQ is turned on. Is that a roger? Uh, roger, roger. Let me just double check that. Stand by, please. All righty, now uh, you want to be in the P set of EQ controls. The P set of EQ controls, Roger. EQ controls. The P set of EQ controls, Roger. Uh, Roger, P set of controls. Stand by, please. Okay, I found it, Roger. Okay, so that's a uh, three-band EQ, is that a roger, or, or eight-band, or ten-band? What kind of equalizer is that, sir? EQ, is that a roger, or, or eight-band, or ten-band? What kind of equalizer is that, sir? Uh, this is a, uh, a three-band, sir. Okay, so uh, what we want to do is uh, start with the mid-band. The mid-band, we want to turn that one off or uh, uh, plus or minus zero uh, flat. Roger, roger, off or flat, roger? Uh, flat. Roger, roger, off or flat, roger? Uh, roger, roger, uh, mid-range on the EQ is off. There is an offsetting. I have selected that QSL. Uh, good. Now we want to go to equalizer three, which is your treble control. And uh, do you have the ability to select the frequency? And uh, do you have the ability to select the frequency? Uh, stand by, checking. I think you do, and uh, if you do, we want to set that to uh, 2.7 kilohertz. If you do have the ability of setting your treble EQ uh, to 2.7 kilohertz, go ahead. Treble EQ uh, to 2.7 kilohertz, go ahead. I'm sorry, did you say you had control? You can set the control? I'm sorry, did you say you had control? You can set the control? Uh, I have a 1 through 10 setting. I do not have a kilohertz band setting. Roger, roger. And you do not have the capability of setting that control manually. Roger, roger. Uh, and you do not have the capability of setting that control manually. Uh, negative. Uh, misinterpreted that. Stand by. I do have it. Did you say 2700 kilohertz or 2100? 2.7 kilohertz. 2.7 kilohertz, Roger. 2.7 kilohertz. 
2.7 kilohertz, Roger. All right, and also, do you have the capability of shaping it, like a uh, width of four? Can you give me a width of four on that also? Like a uh, width of four? Can you give me a width of four on that also? Uh, stand by. Uh, on uh, double uh, parametric heat, and I have a width of four. Uh, roger, roger. Roger, roger. So you're at 2.7 kilohertz with the four, and we want to go uh, plus uh, five, plus five uh, from where you are, plus five on that uh, control uh, as far as uh, your level, plus five from where you are, roger. Plus five from where you are, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger, stand by, please. Uh, level set, four, five, Roger. Okay, uh, let's see here. So uh, now we want to go to uh, your uh, bottom end, the base, number one. We want it uh, 200 cycles, 200 cycles, width of four. 200 cycles with the four, Roger. With the four. 200 cycles with the four, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger, stand by. Do not tune up on an active frequency, please. Frequency. Do not tune up on an active frequency, please. Okay, uh, setting is confirmed at four, Roger. Okay, so I want you to go minus six. Minus six as far as level's concerned. Uh, uh, six uh, dB from where you are. Six clicks um, uh, reduced from where you are, level-wise. Minus six from where you are. From where you are, level-wise. Minus six from where you are. Roger, roger. Minus six. Stand by, sir. Okay, now I want you to go back uh, to your ALC, since we've been futzing with the uh, equalizer, I want you to go back to your ALC with mic gain in hand, and I want you to uh, recheck your ALC level as you say the word audio and uh, adjust that your mic level again to where you're uh, a two -thir or a seven, or two-thirds, whichever comes first. A two-thirds, or a seven, or two-thirds, whichever comes first. Roger, roger. Audio, 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 audio. Roger, roger, on the setting. Okay, so I've uh, temporarily got a fade out on you at the moment, but uh, hopefully you'll be back in there. Uh, you've been pretty consistent uh, all afternoon long. Uh, to try it again. Uh, let me hear you for about 10 seconds and uh, the thing you like best about your radio. Seconds. And uh, uh, the thing you like best about your radio. Uh, roger, roger. Uh, on the ALC setting, uh, audio and decreasing ALC. Uh, audio, decreasing ALC. Uh, audio, stopping at 7. 7 on the ALC meter, QSL. Roger, roger. Uh, and uh, so uh, back up, uh, let's go to uh, your treble control and uh, crank me in three more clicks of treble boost uh, at the frequency of 2.7 with the 4, plus three additional clicks uh, boost uh, uh, at this point, roger. Additional clicks uh, boost uh, uh, at this point, roger. Roger, roger. Stand by, please. Okay, on the treble side, EQ3, level set 4.8, USL. Alrighty, and tell me the best thing you like about your, uh, your uh, well, let's do your antenna. Why don't you tell me about your antenna system? Your, uh, well, let's do your antenna. Why don't you tell me about your antenna system? Uh, guiding for... Uh, it's uh, 
I've got it going through uh, MFJ versus Tuner 5, uh, which then goes into my Ameritron, um, or actually comes out from it. Uh, so I really haven't had a whole lot of trouble with it. It seems the pull signal's in really good. Uh, we've had some pretty bad uh, QRM in the last week or two on the band. So, And I also have a uh, Comet um, 250 uh, long wire that I kind of go back and forth on. I want to run that higher than 200. Right now I'm running this one at about 250 watts. See what's up? Roger, Roger. Well, your, uh, your dB dynamic range is about uh, 2 three to two, which is not bad. It's good. Uh, uh, nice and fat. Uh, I would like to have you a little more brighter. What is your current uh, uh, treble EQ uh, push uh, frequency? I know it's 2.7, but what's the level? Uh, push uh, frequency. I know it's 2.7, but what's the level? Uh, the level's currently set at eight. Okay, so you have uh, eight out of ten, or, or what? Do you have uh, 8 out of 10 or, or what? Uh, roger, roger. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. With me, Fox Talk Sierra Delta ID. Roger, Brian. Well, go ahead and uh, take up those other two. Go ahead and uh, uh, make that uh, plus 10 on your, uh, your treble EQ. Roger, roger. On your, uh, your treble EQ. Roger, roger. All righty, I think we're doing fine there. If you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will uh, take you to this recording. And uh, it'll be cut number one in a series of 2,900. Uh, and uh, we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. I think we're really close, Roger, Roger. Uploaded by noon tomorrow. I think we're really close, Roger, Roger. Uh, roger, roger, and I really greatly appreciate that. Uh, way to go. I do appreciate uh, all the assistance today, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. 73 there, Brian. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. This is the uh, KC9VKV QSO Vlog Network. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Vlog Network, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kilo Charlie 9, Yankee Sugar. Yankee Sugar Station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Yankee Sugar Station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Kilo Charlie 9, Yankee Sierra. Roger, Roger, Yankee Sierra. What's the name there? Roger, Roger, Yankee Sierra. What's the name there? Hey, the name's Al Jim. Uh, good afternoon. What uh, 50 KW station were you at? Oh, that was uh, WHAS in Louisville. Oh, that was uh, WHAS in Louisville. Oh, okay. Well, I saw some of your stuff on the web. It looked really, really nice. Uh, you had a really good, uh, really good show back then. All right, good old 1972-74. Yes, sir. We were production director for HAS from uh, 1970 to 79, Roger. For HAS from... Uh, 1970 to 79, Roger. Roger, those were good years. Uh, I worked at WLS as a studio engineer, summer relief back in 1972. Roger, Roger, uh, uh, did you say the name was Jeff? Roger, Roger, uh, uh, did you say the name was Jeff? No, the name's Al, Al Salino. I'm in JV, Illinois, 40 miles west of Chicago, using my uh, Kenwood 940 Sugar and an L4B uh, amplifier. Back to you, sir. Yes, sir. Give me your name uh, phonetically, very slowly. Yes, sir. Give me your name uh, phonetically, very slowly. Alpha Lima. Alpha Lima. Al, is that a Roger? Al, is that a Roger? That is a Roger, Jim. Okay, Al, and what radio are you running today, bud? Okay, Al, and what radio are you running today, bud? Uh, this is a Kenwood 940 Sugar uh, into a uh, Drake L4B amplifier putting out about oh, 800 watts. Alrighty, and what's your location, Al? Alrighty, and what's your location, Al? Up at JV, Illinois, 40 miles west of Chicago, but not far enough away. Over. 
Uh, Roger. Well, why don't you give me about 10 seconds and tell me about your antenna system and uh, let me uh, g get a chance to uh, run through some of my receive options, Roger. Get a chance to uh, run through some of my receive options, Roger. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the antenna system here is very simple. Guard. The uh, radio is a Kenwood 940 Sugar. The microphone is a Shure SM7B going into a little Behringer EQ and that is going into a DBX compressor limiter and then back into the radio with uh, uh, very, very little processing, just a touch. And there you have it. Back to you, Kilo Charlie 9, Yankee Sierra. Roger, Roger, Al. Sounds real good. Uh, I'm uh, copying you now on my uh, 7300, which is, uh, you know, flat down to 100 cycles. And my audio system is uh, uh, complete with a subwoofer, so I'm, I'm copying the monitor down to 50 cycles, so you're just, uh, you're just wall to wall, Roger. Very good. Well, hey, thanks. Stand by one second, please. The XYL is asking me a question from upstairs. Uh, one moment. Okay, Jim, thank you for waiting. A kilo Charlie 9 Yankee Sugar. I missed, I missed some of that because she was speaking to me from upstairs. But uh, if you could go through it one more time, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, KC9YS, over. Roger, Roger. I'm copying you on a 7300, which uh, the radio is good down to 100 cycles. My monitor system uh, runs a subwoofer, and I'm good down to about 50 cycles on my uh, my monitor, and uh, so you're just wall to wall, uh, and uh, your dynamic range uh, looks to be about 2 dB or 3, which means your average percent of average percent of peak modulation is around 80 to 85 percent, which is uh, very loud, Roger. Oh well, thanks a lot. Well, hey, you're the guy. <laughs> uh, that's that's great news. I really appreciate it for a radio from 1986. And, you know, it's, it's not easy trying to put studio equipment on a ham radio these days. Uh, over. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. Uh, but, you know, some of that older stuff, that Drake stuff, is just, uh, just amazing. If You know, uh, crank in a new front end, uh, audio-wise, uh, outboard, uh, you know, compressor uh, uh, processor with, uh, uh, you know, um, tone control and all that stuff and uh, those radios just come up beautiful. Well I should talk to you on my Drake. Right now I'm on the Kenwood 940. I do have this audio system routed to my Drake. I just have to change a patch cord and turn the thing on and tune it up for, for 40 because it's the last time I used it, it was tuned up for 20 earlier today. But uh, I've got the same audio chain going into the Drake except for the DBX 266. There's a ground loop somewhere and uh, I just can't find it. I've tried everything I can, uh, being the old broadcast engineer that I am, and uh, I've just found out that going into the Drake, um, it doesn't need that. However, before it gets into the Drake B line, it goes through a small two-tube audio uh, compressor limiter, which works out pretty well. Uh, from 1960s, it was called a Demco modulator, and it's got, I think, uh, Oh, I can't remember. I don't think it's a 12AX7 in there. But it's got a couple tubes. I know it's got a 12AU6, I think, for the clipper. But anyway, sometime when there's time, uh, with your schedule, I could fire up the Drake and let you hear that one with uh, studio mics. Back to you, sir. Kilo Charlie 9, Yankee Sierra. Roger, Roger. Kind of be uh, careful about your grounding. Um, uh, sometimes uh, you have to uh, detach your... Um, uh, chassis ground uh, at least you get a, uh, a loop from uh, the other way you know and the, the whole thing is uh, when you when you're at uh, low levels uh, mic levels uh, uh, you can pick up a, a buzz or a hum really easy yeah that is true Jim I know well anyway not having the the DBX into the Drake I guess works okay because I, I have this tube uh, limiter clipper uh, that I use and uh, it uh, doesn't have any hum, which is good. So it's a little bit modified, different from the Kenwood, but I seem to get good audio reports. The hardest thing about the Drake gear is uh, having an analog scale. You know, somebody will tell you, hey, you're 10 cycles high, you're 10 cycles low, you know what I mean? Over. 
Oh, yeah, you'll always be playing catch-up uh, with uh, that stuff. The higher the frequency, the more uh, catch-up that you'll be doing. Uh, I ran uh, my uh, TR4C uh, on the ten a bunch, and I was just my hand was just on the on the VFO all the time. Roger. Roger, Roger. I know. Well, I'm trying to run my Drakes on separate, and uh, I got them aligned okay. I got the master oscillator aligned, so it, it seems to be working okay. So sometime, uh, you know, like I say, I can fire the thing up, let it sit a while, and give you a holler. Uh, I am familiar with this frequency from Charlie being on this frequency. And I, I don't think he's on today or later. I'm not sure. I haven't talked to Charlie in a really long time. Um, but you sound good. Your page, your QRZ page is phenomenal. If you go to my QRZ page, way, way at the bottom shows uh, the uh, old control room that I used at WLS in 1972 before they upgraded the RCA console to a McCurdy system. And uh, it was very, very interesting. It was uh, very, very high-paced, as you know how radio is. Um, it was um, IVW, and we weren't allowed to be on the board for more than an hour at a time because they didn't want you to make mistakes. But uh, you're an old pro at this, and uh, I think we um, had uh, similar experiences. Uh, back to you, Kilo Charlie 9, Yankee Sugar. Roger, Roger. I think uh, I was hired to, to mainly uh, uh, work out a situation to where... Um, uh, you know, um, gosh, uh, <laughs> I worked uh, with uh, three different engineers uh, during my uh, span as uh, production uh, uh, in uh, the day, and uh, we uh, started uh, quite a few things. Mainly, um, you know, we've developed a system for checking out uh, uh, reproduction of uh, of uh, um, tape, quarter-inch uh, tape. And we could uh, ascertain the uh, serviceability of a reel-to-reel -reel recorder in probably about five seconds. We'd take the output, dump it back into the input, and depending on how the curve broke, we could tell how well aligned the heads were. Roger? Roger, Roger. You guys knew your stuff. It was totally different back then. What year did you get your ham license? Uh, gosh, uh, about uh, ten years ago. The uh, main th problem that I found was uh, just the uh, necessity for the code, Roger. Yeah, I know. The code test, that was really hard um, back then, and it was uh, <laughs> until they took it away. But uh, they, they took it away. Wow. Well, anyway, I really enjoyed looking at your page. Thanks for the uh, help with the audio here, and uh, thanks for your comments. They are greatly appreciated. And I am watching my ALC to make sure I don't end up putting in too much ALC because if you need a processor, use a processor. Like you say, don't use the ALC. So back to you. Forgive me for hogging the channel here, but it was great to talk to you, fellow broadcast, fellow broadcaster at a 50 kW powerhouse there in Kentucky. Uh, really neat stuff. Back to you, Jim. Oh, by the way, the other reason I wanted to talk to you is we had a guy named Fergie over at WLS uh, who was one of the board operators. And uh, we, you know, his last name, of course, was Ferguson. And that was a long time ago, uh, in 72. And I was just wondering if that could have been you. So, anyway, back to you, sir. KC9YS here. Roger, Roger. No, I'll, uh, I only worked uh, in Louisville. What, actually, what it was, um, I was a group production director for a company called Radio Smiles out of North Carolina. They had, at that time, seven stations, and uh, I was a group production director. I traveled around and I worked with the uh, production guys in the daytime, uh, and uh, my uh, buddy was the uh, sales uh, uh, group sales director, and uh, we joined it quite a bit. Uh, he finally had a heart attack, and uh, I <laughs> decided that I wanted to, you know, didn't want to have to travel by myself, so uh, I had my option of Des Moines, uh, and a couple other stations, but uh, Louisville kind of stood out because I'd spent some time in uh, in uh, Nashville, and I kind of liked the climate there. So I said, "Well, Louisville's not that much different." So uh, that's uh, that's the name of that game, Roger. Roger, Roger. Did you know this jockey from Louisville called Bill Bailey? Uh, I did. I think he's uh, he's uh, X now. I think he's. Uh, well I, he, well, I don't think he was an amateur, but uh, he's uh, passed away now. Yeah, he wasn't an amateur. Uh, if there were two Bill Baileys that worked at WLS. The one that I worked with, uh, he had really low pipes. He was African-American gentleman, 
Very, very nice. I uh, had a good sound on the air. I know he was from Louisville. Does that ring a bell? No, the uh, the one I knew here was a uh, white guy, Roger. Oh, okay, I didn't know the white guy. But I, I heard that there were two Bill Baileys working. So somehow I got them mixed up, I guess. I'm not sure where the other Bill Bailey was from. But I think they're both deceased. But, uh, yeah, radio was uh, something else back then. Um, at first I thought I was going to be hired at the Progressive Rock Station, WDAI, which was the uh, c current call letters for WLS-FM. And then um, I found out I was going to be hired on WLS-AM running the board and, uh, you know, ran out and got my first class license in 1972. And uh, it, was, it was a fun summer relief job. The only problem was a few years later uh, it went combo and then uh, most of the engineers got laid off and a couple of them ended up in TV. And for two and a half years I got to work at WLS TV uh, and the head audio guy there was one of the guys I worked with in radio, small world, but he's retired, and uh, I've been retired since uh, July from where I work. I worked at Fox 32 in Chicago. How, what part of Indiana are you from, KC9YS? Uh, well, I'm from Florida, really, by way of North Carolina, by way of uh, <laughs> around the world. You know how, how jocks are, but... Uh, I came to uh, to Louisville primarily for a, a combo operation. Uh, the uh, general manager wanted uh, to initiate a combo operation for his uh, on-air staff, and uh, we recognized that it's going to take some time and some dough. And uh, so I was kind of like a, a canary in the cage, uh, you know, keeping track of everything. And, uh, um, you know, eventually he did get his combo, and uh, so we could do, uh, you know, I didn't need the three engineers during the day. I could do my own thing. And uh, the jocks on the air could do their thing. And, you know, it does uh, make a difference. There's about, probably about twice as fast doing your own thing as uh, through somebody else. Yeah, I know what you mean. Wow. Well, those were the days, combo. I guess that was one of the last group of engineers that was an engineer in radio before they switched it. But, uh, hey, great talking to you. Are you on one? Are you on 7.188 quite often if I uh, come back with my Drake turned on sometime? Oh, sure. On uh, Friday afternoons, uh, usually uh, uh, from uh, 3.30 till 5 uh, every Friday. Roger? Roger, Roger. Well, I have it turned on now, but it's not tuned up yet, so I'd have to retune it. So uh, maybe um, after you uh, take a few more uh, calls helping people out, which is nice of you to do, if you're still around and you're not busy, I'll... Uh, give you a holler again and maybe I can talk to you on the uh, on the 50 year old Drake there go ahead Jim oh that'd be great that'd be great uh, I'll be listening for you I've got uh, about 15 to 5 and we usually uh, call it quits at 5 but uh, if you you know get a chance uh, fire that Jake up and let me hear you Roger well I've got it turned on so let me throw it in the dummy load and uh, <laughs> funny they call it dummy load. Gee, I wonder why, huh? After listening today, I know everybody has to tune up on a conversation instead of going a few cases away. Even on DX, they do it. I can't believe it. What What is this world coming to? So nice talking to you, sir. I'm going to go tune them up. And if you're not in a queue, so uh, I'll call you. And if you are, I'll wait till next Friday so I don't make you late. It's been a pleasure. Kilo Charlie Nine Yankee Sugar. Roger, Roger, Al, 73, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, and if you get a chance, uh, join us later today. This is the Friday afternoon, QSO VLOGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Victor Echo 3, Papa, Charlie, Papa. PCP, Roger, Roger, what's going on there? PCP, Roger, Roger, what's going on there? Yeah, good afternoon, Jim. Uh, well, not a whole lot. Uh, I did get myself a different headset, and uh, I uh, installed a, uh, an equalizer on the uh, computer to uh, kind of round things out, so I thought I'd uh, check in with uh, Dr. VKV and see how it sounded. Uh, back to you. Oh, uh, you got it going on now. I'm copying you uh, through uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, your dynamic range is right there, 3 dB, uh, and the uh, the curve is, is very nice, Roger. Uh, and the uh, the curve is, is very nice, Roger. Okay, very good. Well, it's a um, it's a gaming headset, uh, uh, and it's a dynamic uh, crack. I had to uh, and it's a 
it's a dynamic uh, cartridge, so I had to uh, had to install the equalizer with a uh, uh, with a preamp on it to get the uh, get the mic audio level up uh, enough to uh, to where I needed it, and uh, was able to uh, shape the audio a little bit. So I'm glad that it sounds okay on your end. Yes, sir. Like I say, three dB dynamic range and the curve. The audio curve is just just perfect, so you got it going on, bud. The audio curve is just just perfect, so you got it going on, bud. Roger, Roger. Well, good to hear, and uh, look forward to uh, listening to the recording. And uh, I was going to check in with you last week, but you must have uh, shut down early last week, did you? Uh, yes, sir. I had the call of the wild blue about four o'clock, and uh, I had the thing uh, that I had to do then, so I, I bailed out about four o'clock, Roger. I had to do then, so I, I bailed out about four o'clock, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Oh, no problem. It's, those things come up, and uh, you know, it's it's just a hobby, so you got to look after the life uh, the life necessities first, you know. Oh yes, yes. That that is what my wife informed me. Yes, yes, that, that is what my wife informed me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Roger, Roger. Okay, Jen, very good. Nice chatting, and I'll let you go, and uh, if you got time to pick up another, another, at least one more, so 7-3 for now. Uh, TC9, VKV, VE3, PCP. Roger, Roger, Rob, uh, 73 that way, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. And uh, I'll have this stuff loaded uh, by noon tomorrow, obviously, uh, as normal. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. VLOGNET, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Romeo Alpha Mike. Romeo Alpha Mike, uh, come back slowly, phonetically, with your call sign. Roger, Roger, Cal, and uh, what's your location? Uh, 25 miles northwest of Chicago, Illinois. Okay, Cal, why don't you tell me about your antenna system, and let me look uh, for a better path for us, Roger. Roger, Roger, I'm copying you on my uh, local antenna for the moment. Uh, could be probably a little bit better. What uh, radio are you running, sir? Ah, Roger, Roger. Okay, so uh, you have uh, your compressor on at a three. Is that a Roger? Roger, did you have a chance to uh, set your uh, uh, 100 to 2900 transmit band pass? Your uh, uh, 100 to 2900 transmit band pass? Yes, that's where it's at. Yeah, no, that's right on uh, what you said. That was already set like that. Yes, sir. Most of the time they are, but I have run across a few that have come from um, from um, reliable sources, uh, some from manufacturers that are are not in that 100 to 2900 transmit bandpass. So, uh, you know, I always double check for that. All right. So uh, we want to go to our ALC with Mike Gain in hand, and as you say the magic word audio, spoken just as you would speak any other word. Don't push it, just uh, say it, audio, and uh, with the mic gain in hand, adjust your AOC level until it's uh, two-thirds level. Roger? AOC level until it's uh, two-thirds level. Roger? Yes, 
All right, let me uh, come back to me and let me hear you. And I'm back on my local antenna, so uh, let me hear you on my local antenna. It looks about that way. It looks about that way. Now, uh, uh, let's go to your EQ page, Roger. It looks about that way. Now, uh, uh, let's go to your EQ page, Roger. Okay, so uh, hang on there just a minute, uh, Cal, and let me see. Um, I'm going to see if I can bring up my um, my Kentucky um, SDR. Uh, let's see here. All right, so uh, we're on our Kentucky SDR. Let me hear you just for a minute on my Kentucky SDR. Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, what is your uh, uh, treble setting? Is it like, uh, well, uh, well, give me a 3 dB plus 3 dB from where you are. Plus three clicks boost additional on your uh, treble EQ, Roger. Your uh, treble EQ, Roger. Okay, I have the treble set at four right now, so I'm going to back it down to three. I had it set at four. Okay, there's three on the treble right there. Okay, go the other way. Go plus five. Max out your treble EQ, Roger. That's your treble EQ, Roger. Okay, that's five right there. That's five on the treble. Okay, what kind of mic was that you're using? What kind of mic was that you're using? Skycom SM50. And uh, I had that low cut button turned off there. Give me something. Roger, that, is that a hand mic or a desk mic? Is that a hand mic or a desk mic? Okay, uh, what's your base uh, uh, base reading on that 7300? Reading on that 7300. The base is a negative 2. Negative 2. Alright, uh, tell me the best thing you like about your radio. The best thing you like about your radio. Uh, it's new. I'm still trying to figure it out. I uh, just got it like a week ago, so I'm going through here, reading this book, and uh, trying to figure it out. So I think it's a really nice radio. Yeah, I think that sounds good, sir. Uh, let's see here, Cal, and uh, you are in Illinois. Yeah, that 7300 is uh, is sounding really good, Roger. It's sounding really good, Roger. Yeah, so, yeah I'm following you along with the other guys, so I think I had it pretty close. So, uh, anyway, I appreciate it. I can't wait to hear it tomorrow. I'm going to listen for you to put it out there and see what it sounds like. So, anyway, the wife is just calling. She's on her way home from work. I want to get in there and get the thing as soon as I got in there right at the end. So, it's a pleasure talking to you, Jim. Uh, so, it's a pleasure talking to you, Jim. Uh, listening for that audio there uh, for the recording. Roger, Roger. Sounds real good on my 7300. So, um, uh, let me say uh, 73 to you, Cal, and uh, I'll have this uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow, and it'll be cut number one in a series of uh, 2900 QSO VLOG air check recordings. Uh, 73, sir. Roger. And I lost you right there at the end. So, uh, 73, sir. And uh, this is uh, KC9VKV. Uh, gosh, it is at that uh, hour. Uh, it's uh, 5 o'clock. I uh, don't know if if uh, Al was going to give us a shout with that other radio uh, uh, to check out that uh, Drake. But uh, we're listening. Al, Roger. And now, uh, no copy uh, on uh, your uh, 
the Illinois station that you were going to bring up on the TR-47. Drake, uh, so we'll say 73 all and uh, uh, jump out of here if you've uh, participated and would like to hear your audio. If you uh, go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. Uh, that'll bring up uh, this recording. I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,900. So with that being said, we'll say 73 all. And uh, this is KC9 VKV returning the frequency back to normal amateur radio use. KC9 VKV is clear.